Listen, I know data scientists get all the credit, Harvard's sexiest job and all of that, but they would be nothing without us, okay? The humble data engineer. But I'll be honest, whenever somebody says they're an engineer with a civil or whatever, I don't really know what that is. Something to do with bridges. So I figured a lot of people might be wondering what a data engineer is as well. In the next couple of minutes, you'll know what a data engineer is, what I do daily as a data engineer, and why a lot more companies are now opting to hire data engineers instead of data scientists. So let's start with the working environment. So honestly, that just just depends on the company that you work at. My last company was like a 10 out of 10 in terms of flexibility. You could literally work from home for a couple of weeks in a row. This one is slightly different because you do have to be in the office almost every day. So that's not as fun, but I like being in the office anyway, but really it depends on the company you decide to work at. Before I tell you about the tech stack and daily tasks, I should probably expand on what a data engineer actually is. A data scientist builds all these predictive models, classification algorithms, LLMs through a lot of experimentation. And the clue of what they do is in their name. Data scientists are real scientists, okay? But where do data scientists get their data? In the real world, it's not some neatly structured Excel that you get from Kaggle. To give an example, let's say your uncle Bob decides to open a store. He's in a bit of divorce with his ex-wife Sandy, so he decides to open the store right next to hers to try and run her out of business. He's a vengeful guy. So because he wants to outdo her, he decides to hire a data scientist to do all of this forecasting and make these algorithms to maximize his profits. The data scientist who eventually gets hired gets there and he's like, great, where's the data so I can build my models? And Uncle Bob is like, I don't know, isn't that supposed to be your job? And of course the data scientist being such a diva says, actually, no, that's the data engineer's job. So now Uncle Bob has to hire a data engineer. So let's say Uncle Bob had gotten his stock from a bunch of different stores, they will have different ways that they were storing their data. So it will be the job of the data engineer to connect and stitch all these data sources together from the different suppliers to bring data like how much stock they purchased, expiry dates, and when the next order is scheduled for, all onto Uncle Bob's system in a few neat, reliable tables. It goes way beyond that because the data will then have to be broken down by the different categories because our data scientists might need to build different models for different users cases so it can get a little bit more complex so long story short they get messy data clean it up and put it into a state where it can be used by the data scientists and data analysts Should I start creating fitness content, guys? I can show you how to look kinda jacked, but kinda like you eat too much McDonald's. <laughs> okay, so my tech stack. Weirdly enough, it hasn't changed too much since my last job, which is why I always encourage you to become a full stack data scientist. So as a data engineer, of course, the big two that I still use are Python and of course, SQL. But the difference is how much I use them now. As a data scientist, it used to be like 80% Python, 20% SQL, but at my new job, it's more 50-50. And where I used to do all my Python in, VS Code and all my SQL on GCP. Now all of that is done in Databricks essentially, which is a cloud platform that allows you to do everything in one notebook. And that's super useful for me to be able to do SQL and Python all at once because some things are just easier in one or the other. And you don't always want to sort of export your data set just to do a quick little thing in the other technology. And the other thing for visualizations, I've had to move from Tableau to Power BI, which is quite frankly disgusting but it's what they use so i guess they use power bi now and now there's a lot less maths involved so if you hate maths still want to work in data data engineering is a good shout you still need to know your basics but it's a lot easier okay <laughs> let me actually do a set <laughs> so there's a huge difference between my days as a data scientist and what my days look like now and it's probably something that i was completely unaware of before i took this job the first is that there's a lot more meetings than before around things like, is it possible to get this data at all? Is it possible to get it looking exactly like this? And that sort of a thing. And the next thing is that there's a lot more reading of documentation before, because a lot of times you're using some obscure API that like nobody uses, and you try to hunt down the documentation and just get it to work how you want it, but it's been updated and that, that sort of thing. And the truth is the work that I do in Python and SQL is 
a lot less sexy than what I did <laughs> when I was a data scientist. So maybe Harvard was right because now mainly it's just getting data into flattened tables. So let's say we're doing a web tracking project and we're trying to see all the different pages that somebody has clicked on. We'll basically just be looking for their identifier and just get it all into one nice flat table. And I just made that sound a lot easier <laughs> than it actually is because like you know real world data is messy so i would essentially have to get that converted into a csv or a json whatever makes it possible to then get that into a table that we can make a dashboard from or do some data science technique from so why are a lot more companies opting to hire data engineers rather than data scientists well the clue is actually in the name scientist that means there's a lot of hypothesizing and running experiments to see if something is true or to confirm that something is true which means that there's never actually any guarantee of revenue or anything coming from that project so it's like saying with the data we have i think we can build a predictive model that can maybe hopefully increase our revenue. So it's a lot of in theory vibes. A data engineer, on the other hand, is much more definitive. Point me to your raw data and I guarantee you I can get that into a structured SQL database or a NoSQL database, guaranteed 100%. And then what you opt to do with that data from there, that's all up to you. The second reason is that data scientists need data. So a data engineer would be prerequisite to them being actually able to do their job. And sure, a more full stack data scientist would be able to source their own data. But the thing with that is it means that companies would then be paying data scientists to do a lot of data engineering work. So sometimes they just prefer to have the job done right this first time by a specialist. So drop any questions you have around data engineering down below. And if you want to see what I did when I was a full-on data scientist, check out this video right here.